Okay, this is a, a nice angle for the for the forehand. Let's see what's happening here. We can just. Unit turn. Pretty good power position. Left arm pulled. Decent shoulder turn. Hips are turned. Racket in that nice power position. Racket face facing the side fence. Weight is uh, beginning to be transferred to the front foot. Left arm is good. I like all that. Now let's keep on going a little bit more forward. Left arm pulls to initiate the torso turning. Let's just watch how the chest turns. Oh, okay, see, so racket's nice and laggy. Contact point nice and far out from the body. Left arm is turned around. My chest is now facing straight forward, just like it should be. Chest stops turning. Racket continues. You see, that's where you get the whipping action. Racket turns over. Follow through. And that's not bad. But once again, from here... I want to get that racket face dropping more. So drop the racket face a little lower and get more sort of um, shape on this ball, less driving and more shape uh, as we come forward. You can see you can see that I've transferred transferred the weight now almost entirely. So the weight went from the right foot they're from the left foot onto the right foot, and now going back on the left foot. That's good. Contact point. Yeah. Okay. More loop, more shape. Other than that, not bad. And um, nice finish position, elbow pointing at the target, weight fully transferred, nice loose, nice loose finish. Just a racket just flew around behind me. Okay. Okay, let's, let's look at a forehand from this side view, see what's going on. Okay, good shoulder turn. Move to the ball. Getting ready. Got the nice laggy position here. Striking the ball. There we have it. Ball out. So my torso is uh, turned turned around. So it started. Um, uh, that's about the right amount of uh, body turn and hip turn. Once again, though, too flat. You see, I want to be more under the ball. I'm probably only six or ten inches under the ball. You want to be at least a foot, uh, at least a foot. So more under the ball. Contact point's pretty good. Right through. You can see that there's, this is more of a driving shot than a looping shot. Driving the ball, racket face, goes, extends out and up and free. Nice loose follow through, weight is completely transferred. That was probably a decent shot. Once again, more loop, more uh, get lower below the ball. We want more high to low. 
Okay, let's look at a backhand here now. Shoulder turn. Take back is pretty good. This racket could be a little higher on the take back. Get more loop in it. Yep, come from more from under. There's your contact point. What's that? A foot, 14 inches in front of my, uh, in front of my right foot. Not bad. Follow through. Nice and free. Racket turned over. And completely through. Okay, so the same thing as the forehand. I want more loop, so a higher start on the loop and from this point see right here I want to drop that racket head a little lower but the way the left hand is helping here this is all good I'm turned I could could maybe turn out my back a little bit more towards the baseline but the shoulder turns pretty good here arm is coming forward nice and straight that's good contact point is good Clearly hitting the ball nicely. Kept my head down. See, I'm not looking up. Don't look until a shot is finished. That's all good. And then a finish. Finish with your torso. Racket head up nice and high. Weight completely transferred. And uh, decent backhand. Could be whippier. Looser hand, looser wrist, and definitely more, uh, definitely lower on the backswing. Get more under that ball. You're still driving it too flat. This is not the 80s. This is a time for topspin shape and a loopy ball.